Hey everyone, what's up? Thank you for joining Functional Programming 101. My name is Victor Boutte and I'm a professional software engineer. The reason why I created this video series is to help you understand the fundamentals of FP and hopefully give you some building blocks to help you level up with some of the problems that you're trying to solve as a dev. Now, instead of saying functional programming every time, we're gonna shorten that to FP. You'll see this a lot. As you know, there is object-oriented programming, or OOP for short, and I just wanna get it out the way. This isn't gonna be a video about FP versus OOP. In case you're new to the idea of functional programming, let me just start by saying you do not have to be a math wizard to understand all of this stuff. However, there is some really cool math behind all of this that makes it so powerful. So it actually stems from a branch of mathematics known as category theory. So without diving too much into how FP relates to category theory, let's just reduce it down to this, something a little bit easier to understand at first, I think, is that it allows us to break down larger problems into smaller solutions. And these functions um, we can compose with one another. And the relation there with category theory is that there's some mathematical laws at play that say how things combine with one another and how we can actually compose these functions together. So if you're watching this, I take it that you already have some level of experience as a developer. The format for these videos is going to follow as such. I'm first going to talk about what we covered the video before, in case you missed that or somebody new joining the channel. And after that, I'm going to give a brief introduction on the topic being covered for that day. Then I'll tell you what the value add is there. I know for me personally, whenever I'm learning something new, I like to know upfront, what does it buy me? Why should I even care about learning this? Then we'll do a technical deep dive where I walk through some code with you. I'm going to be using React as my framework whenever I'm writing business logic related to components, but know that this is a framework agnostic video series. The things that I cover here, you're going to be able to take with you anywhere and not just front end stuff. This is also going to be applicable for back end applications as well. Another quick note, I'm going to be using TypeScript as my language of choice, but if it wasn't clear already, FP is a paradigm. It's not related to any specific framework or language for that matter. That's going to be it for the format. I'm going to give you a brief introduction, help explain what the value add is, then we'll do a technical deep dive. Lastly, I'm going to recap what those three things were, and then I may even point out some common use cases for this particular pattern or concept. So I'm going to stop things there for now before we go off into the next video of the series. I just wanted to introduce to you myself and and help you understand what this series is, what we're gonna be covering, and how each video will be structured. In the next video, we're gonna kick this series off by talking about what algebraic data types are. And I'm so excited to help you understand that a little bit more. All right, so see you then.